The third jQuery UI interface we'll build allows a user to click on one list and the clicked items deleted from that list and added to the opposite one. And again, the change is made in the database. As we mouse over each list, instructions appear below that list. The jQuery script for this is very similar to those we've already done, so I won't type it all in. I'll just go through the finished version instead. In click.php we have the two lists just as we had for the first version, the sortable connect with version, with the IDs available and out of stock. And because it's not that clear to a user that you're actually supposed to click on the list items to move them, I've added under each list a div giving brief instructions. Both these divs have the class name instructions, which is styled red in style.css. And they're differentiated with the IDs instructions remove and instructions add. Looking in the JavaScript file now, click.js, as soon as the document's loaded, we'll hide the two instructions divs with jQuery hide. Then we want each of these to appear as we hover the mouse over the relevant list. We do that using mouse over on the lists, showing instructions remove when we mouse over the available list, and hiding instructions add. And vice versa when we hover over the out of stock list. The left hand click action, the click on the available list, is handled using document on click the event handler on, operating on the li elements inside the available list. We set the id number in the same way as before by getting the id attribute out from the HTML. But this time the value that we're going to set for the variable available is reversed because when we click on a list this time the item's removed from that list and it's sent to the other one. So when we click on the available list, this time we're going to set the variable available to no. We then make it appear that the items move from one list to the other by removing it from the current list with this remove and appending it to the other list. Then the Ajax call and the PHP file called are exactly the same as for sortable connect with. The on click clause is then duplicated and the selectors reversed for the out of stock list. And at the bottom, the styling of the list items on hover is the same as we did before. Try it, and that works fine. It's important to use the event handler on for the click action with document as the selector. We can see what happens if we change these lines to a simple click interaction using the list item as the selector. So I'll just comment those lines out. Refresh the page and it appears to work the same, but if we try clicking on a list item which has been newly added by jQuery, it won't work. We can't click on it. The on event handler makes elements newly added to the DOM able to be used immediately. So I'll undo those changes and put that back the way it was with document on. So that's that. And again, the link to the live demo is in the lesson text.